Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we will be discussing about how to calculate pressure acting on an object immersed in a fluid or in a medium. Okay, uh, we all know that pressure is associated with uh, depth and density. Uh, as the depth uh, increases, pressure also uh, increases. Okay, so uh, in order to calculate the pressure acting on an object inside a fluid or a medium, what you will have to do is that you will have to uh, know the atmospheric pressure acting on that object uh, in which the medium it is insert as well as the pressure exerted by the fluid on that object in, in, the, in a medium or the density of the uh, medium in which it is immersed. Okay. So in order to calculate uh, this pressure, uh, it, uh, the formula will be rho gh wherein rho is the density of the fluid in which the object is immersed and g is the acceleration due to gravity and height uh, h or you can say h will be the depth at a particular uh, uh, level uh, wherein the object is immersed and apart from that in order to know the uh, pressure acting on the medium in which the object is immersed there will be two kinds of pressure one will be the atmospheric pressure acting on the object wherein it is immersed i mean in a medium uh, plus uh, the flu uh, pressure exerted by the fluid on that object uh, in a fluid medium okay so after adding up this uh, fluid pressure acting acting on the object plus the atmosphere pressure acting on that uh, object you will come to know the pressure at a particular uh, level in which the object is immersed okay so for example here we will consider uh, an example let's see a, let, let us consider that a submarine submarine is uh, sailing through as a sea and it is at a depth of 200 meters from at a uh, depth of two, 200 meters of sea level okay and uh, we all know the density of the sea water is 1030 kilogram per meter cube and apart from that in order to calculate uh, the um, pressure act, acting on the hull of the submarine we need to know uh, we need to calculate uh, we need to know two pressure one is the atmospheric pressure which is fixed and this value of this atmospheric pressure is 101325 pascals and apart from that there will be a pressure exerted by the fluid on the hull uh, I mean hull of the uh, hull of the submarine so we need to calculate this pressure and as I had already specified you uh, that uh, this uh, submarine is at a depth of 200 meters of sea level okay so in order to calculate the pressure exerted by the uh, this sea water on on the uh, uh, hull of on the marine hull structure what we need to calculate is that we need to find out rho gh here the medium is sea water a submarine is sailing in the sea water so density will be sea water and the uh, density of the sea water will be 1030 kilogram per meter cube and g is your acceleration due to gravity and it is al uh, already represented as 9.81 meter per second square this is the acceleration due to uh, acceleration due to gravity and it's constant and uh, your h is 200 meters here as this submarine is at a depth of 200 meters from sea level okay so what you have to do is that you will have to substitute all these values in this formula so uh, here density uh, is 1030 and you will have to multiply and uh, 9.81 which will be your acceleration due to gravity and apart from that you will have to multiply this 200 meter which will be your depth of the submarine at this sea level okay and uh, after uh, putting this in this family you will have to multiply all these values i mean 1030 with uh, 9.81 and 200 um, okay then you will be getting a value uh, which will be which will which you will have to add up with this atmosphere pressure acting on on the uh, 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 sea water okay so that will be your 101325 pascal so you'll have to add these two values after adding you will get a uh, 2122185 pascals wherein pascal is the unit of pressure and uh, your g is the acceleration due to gravity and it will be 9.81 meter per second square and rho is the density of the sea water that is 1030 kilogram per meter cube and h in terms of meter will be 200 okay i am assuming 200 as a um, submarine at a depth of 200 okay so here after substituting all this we will get a, this value again this value will have to add up with atmospheric pressure as the atmospheric pressure is also acting on this 
uh, uh, fluid uh, wherein the uh, subcurrent sailing okay so this is how you calculate the pressure exerted by a fluid medium on a particular object uh, wherein it is immersed and uh, as your height increases your pressure also increases okay so uh, this pressure increases with depth and by knowing the depth axial duty gravity and density of the medium in which that object is immersed you will be able to find out the pressure act acting on a particular object excited by that fluid medium so friends that's it for today hope you all might have enjoyed this video session and uh, i'll keep on uploading more videos later on and if you find it informative please do like share and subscribe my channel and uh, thank you so much for watching this video